Hi, George here. Let's talk about auto selections. Now there are several ways of making fast selections here inside of Photoshop Elements. What I'm sure you've probably all heard of is up here under the Select menu and down there, Subject Select. That came in back in 2020. Very easy tool to use. I'll click on that. And that goes through and looks for foreground subjects and makes a selection. There we go. I'll just use the Control D keyboard shortcut to undo that one. In 2024, we gained a couple more here, background and sky. But there are other ways of also making fast auto selections. If you go way back to 2018 version, there is the auto selection brush. Let's take a look at that. I'll just come down here to the options panel at the bottom. And here is your selection brush. And there's also right down here an auto selection tool. With the auto selection tool, all you have to do is just grab a shape like this rectangle. Let's just drag this over these people here, let go. And it then makes that selection, just like using that option right up here, which came in a couple of years later. So you actually got the auto selections in the subject select back in 2018. Let's do the control D keyboard shortcut to undo that. Also, while you're here on that tool, the auto selection tool, over here you have a select subject button and added in 2024, we also now have that sky select and the background select. Here's our subject select, choose okay. And there we go, same thing. They're all doing the exact same job making those selections. Go back up to the select menu. Let's take a look at these other two in here. Here's the background select, and notice how it gets everything except for the subjects. We've actually had this for a long time as well, even though it's up here, easy to see. We've had it for a long time. Let me show you that. I'll do Control D, undo that. Let's go way back again here to 2018, grab the rectangle. We'll make a fast selection around these three people. Let go. There's our selection. Now all you have to do is go up here to select, come down to inverse, and there's your background select. So it's still in there. Control D again to deselect that. We also have the sky select, and there was a way to do that much earlier as well. If you go up here to the guided edits, and I'm in the special edits section, and you go over here to perfect landscape, let's bring this up. In here, you can replace just the sky. And that's right down here where it says number three. Just choose a new sky. Here's some puffy clouds, we'll do this one. Click on that. It's going to make a selection of the sky and then give you those new clouds. There we go, new clouds. It does a real nice job of this, by the way. I really like the perfect landscape tool. But let's take this a bit further. Click on the next button and then in advanced mode over here, continue editing. This will probably say in expert mode unless you have 2024. And notice here, there is your layer mask. I'll click on that. That's a layer mask here for the sky area. If you right click on this, you can add mask to selection. And once again, there is your sky selection right there. So another way that we've been able to get to this for quite a while, for several years. It's a little hidden, you have to know the right steps to get here, but this has been part of Photoshop Elements for several years. Let's now talk about the problems with these tools. To Control D, get rid of that one, and let's just undo everything in here. Look back to revert, this just takes us back to the beginning, like that, and I'll do the standard select and subject right there. There's also that keyboard shortcut as you saw, right here, Alt, Control, and S, keyboard shortcut, same thing. If you have my training coach for Photoshop Elements, I have a whole section there about select subject. Just do a search for select subject or even subject select, and it will bring that up. Let me show you that real fast here. Here we are inside the coaching program for Photoshop Elements. Click on the editor section. And then right here, just do a search for subject select or select subject. It really doesn't matter what. Let's begin typing, and there we go. Select subject, and here's the information about how to do this stuff. Now, if you don't have this, I'll put a link for how you can get this in the description. Okay, back to the project. Let's now zoom in on this. I'm using the wheel here on my mouse to zoom in. If you don't have this activated, you find that up here under Edit. Come down to Preferences. It's under the General tab, and it's right here, Zoom with Scroll Wheel. Real nice if you happen to have a scroll wheel on your mouse. If you take a look here, notice that it missed the arm right over in here, and it's kind of messy on the hair up in here. I use the space bar here to give me a hand to move this around with. We missed part of the shoe down here, the heel and the toe area. Missed the toe on this boot. We got stuff we don't need in here. So even though this gives us very fast selections, they're not perfect selections and they will need some fixing. And for that, you can use any tool you want to. You either remove from the selection, just using your standard selection tools. Let's say I want to get rid of this bit right down here. I think I'll just go here to the polygonal lasso tool. Let's set this at subtract right there. And let's just make a quick little selection right along this leg. There we go. And out and around that piece. Double click. We just remove that from our selection. So it's pretty easy to clean these things up just using your standard selection tools. And you can go back and forth and use different selection tools on the same selection. It doesn't matter. 
Double click. There we go. That's been removed. You need to add something in like her boots down here. Back to add. And same thing. Let's just make a nice selection right around the boots. And it's along the edge of this rock right here. And so there is a little bit of an air gap between the boots. Let's make sure we catch that. There we go. And again, down along the rock. And back up this side. Bring it back over to the beginning. Double click. And we've added those back in again. Now in areas like with the hair up here, this is really best done with a refine edge tool. That's right there. Click on that. You can also find this in the select menu, refine edge right there. On this, I always start off with everything at its zero settings. Most of the time, this is fine. I also like using the overlay option here, which is this kind of a pink coloration. It just makes it really easy to see where you're working. The size of the brush there, that is the default size of 35. Works out just fine here. And come into the pink area and then brush into where you want to mask it like that. And this will clean up and tighten up that edge. And this works especially good on hair. Normally I'll leave the regular selections for the rest of the figure, but I'll use this along all the hair edges. If you want to change your view, just grab that hand tool right here. And you can drag your picture around with a hand tool. And back to your fine edge tool. And let's get the other bit of hair right here. There we go. Very easy to do. Then go back to a selection again, choose OK. And here's a vastly improved selection. And I'll just zoom back out. There's one more I think I'll just go ahead and mention right now. Let's do a control D to deselect. And that's the selection brush tool right here. We also have the quick selection tool. That's what you want to look at right there, upper left hand corner. And with this, it's also an auto selection. Just begin painting into an area like this. And then this goes in and finds the matching areas around where you're brushing and makes that selection. It's a little bit more work because you have to do manually go through here and do a little bit of brushing. But you also have more control over this and you can solve some of your problems right there very quickly by using this quick selection brush. And of course, over here, right hand side, you will find your buttons for the standard auto selections. And in 2024, we have our three now right down there. And if you want to have this information in a written form, don't forget to take a look at my coaching program, the HDG Photo Coach for Photoshop Elements. I'll put a link right down there and also down in the description so you can click right to that. Don't forget to click on like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time.